Hey guys, so the problem I was assigned for the explainer video was 13.30, um, and the problem asks if a satellite is rotating around Earth at a speed of 5,500 meters per second, uh, what is the period, uh, or in other words, what is the time it takes for the satellite to make one complete orbit around the Earth? Um, so basically what we want is period, which we'll use T for, at uh, a velocity of 5,500 meters per second. Um, so we need a formula for period T uh, in terms of quantities that we do know. So to start, uh, we can say that the centripetal force in this case, uh, or the force that's keeping the satellite in the circular path, is the gravitational force. Uh, so that means uh, since the centripetal force is gravity, we can say that F centripetal is equal to F gravitational. Uh, to break this down further, we know F is equal to MA. And we also know gravitational force is equal to gmm over r squared, uh, where this is the big mass, or the Earth, and this is a small satellite, and this is a constant, and this is the distance between two bodies. Uh, so we can now write this as ma equals gmm over r squared. There's a little m on both sides of this, so we can cancel those. And then we get a equals gm over r squared. Uh, we know centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared over r. Um, so we can stick this in for a, which is good because we don't know what a is. Uh, but we do know what v is, so that will get us a bit closer. We can cancel one of these r's, which gives us v squared equals g m over r. Okay, uh, so going from there, uh, we still don't have period in the equation, which is a problem. Uh, so the way I thought of it was we know velocity is equal to distance over time. Uh, and in this case, the distance is the path around the circle, or the distance that we're interested in is the path around the circle. So we can say distance is the circumference of the circle. Uh, and in this case, time would be period, because period is the time it takes to make one full revolution. So we have 2 pi over t is equal to v. Uh, so we can take this value for v and then substitute it for v in this equation, uh, which will give us an equation that has period in it, which is what we want. So uh, again, substituting, I'm going to skip some algebra here. We can get 4 pi squared times r squared over t squared. Again, I just stuck this in here and squared everything. It's equal to gm over r. Um, and then we isolate period, uh, which gets... Okay, uh, sorry about the cut. My phone died. Uh, so we have period. Uh, we isolated period here, and we get period is equal to this. Uh, and we don't know r, so we need to write r in terms of known values. Uh, so again, we have an equation for period here, but not everything in it is known, so that's not an answer. Um, so instead of writing everything again, I'm just going to refer back to this. Um, up here, we said v squared is equal to gm over r. Um, I'm just going to, for the sake of time, instead of writing everything again, I'm just going to flip-flop that equation. So v squared equals gm over r. We can isolate for r. Uh, so we can get r equals gm over v squared, uh, which is good because now we have r in terms of known values. So taking that, we can put it in here, which gives us t equals root 4 pi squared gm v squared. We can substitute that for r, and then it's all cubed over gm. And simplifying this gives us t equals root 4 pi squared g squared m squared over v6, or v to the 6. Uh, so this is our answer. Um, sorry, my phone cut out again. But uh, So this is the answer. Um, we know it's the answer because we have what we want, period, uh, written in terms of everything, uh, or only known values. Uh, so everything on this right side of the equation is known. G is the gravitational constant, which is given. Uh, M is the mass of the Earth, which is a known value. And B is given in the problem as 5,500 meters per second. So yeah, that's it.